Johannesburg, also known as the City of Gold, is filled with old and dangerous buildings that are literally falling apart. The hundreds of residents living in these buildings face possible cold nights on the streets as the mayor vows to clean up the city, and this includes evictions. One of these residents is Betebile Mangele. Mama, you've been evicted too. Um, you've been out in the streets and you ended up here. Tell us what happened. She says life has not been good during the duration of the time that she has taken living in this building. There is no electricity. There are no doors, no sanitation. One day, people came in and evicted us. But there was no alternative shelter but to live in the streets. For three days we did this. We had to get help from human rights lawyers to get back into the building. Why wouldn't you want to move somewhere else where it's safer? We are willing to move, only if they have found space for us. But we hear that there is no space. So I am suggesting to them that they fix the building that we are already occupying and let us leave here. Nomzamo Zondo, a human rights lawyer at the Socio-Economic Rights Institute, says the mayor has no plans on helping the destitute residents. So in, in, in June, the Constitutional Court gave a ruling um, for the case for the occupiers of, of Kiribili. And in that ruling, the court made it clear that the municipality must uh, come up with a plan and advise the court, the occupiers and the owner of where it, where, where, which buildings they will use or which land will use to accommodate the occupiers of this building. On the 24th of July, the municipality failed to file that report and instead sent a letter advising that one of its systems had crashed. I mean, if you look at the conditions these people live under, it's fire hazards, no windows, I mean, it's just safety, it's just a safety risk. So look, the, the challenge is this. Most of these owners have one thing to say. They say, I don't want these people in my building. If you take them out of my building, I'll quite happily fix the fire hazards. I'll quite happily renovate the building. But that is then an obligation that's given to the state to house them. But for the last almost decade, the city of Johannesburg has been failing to meet that obligation. The mayor, Herman Mashaba, says only the residents of Johannesburg is his responsibility. So you said um, that 80% of the occupants in these um, decaying buildings are foreigners. So what is your plan with regards to them and our local people that is also being evicted? I'm saying to the residents and national government and the international community to be aware about this, that when we start the process of evicting uh, uh, these people and taking back uh, this building so that we can convert them into affordable accommodation, the city of Johannesburg will only take the responsibility for provision of a temporary accommodation only to South Africans. Mashaba had this to say in reply to the human rights lawyer Nomzamo Zonde's allegations that he had missed the court deadline. I am sitting with lots of the sub cases in the city of Johannesburg where you know people are saying that I've got to provide the alternative accommodation uh, for for the residents of this uh, hijacked buildings. Mm. But at the same time. Where do I get the money from? I have absolutely no problem whatsoever providing accommodation to anyone. But at the end of the day, you cannot just give instructions without giving me the necessary resources. Greg for Mark, the director of for Mark and Partners, explained to us why these buildings were left unserviced and how it was occupied illegally. A lot of business left the inner city from about 1991, 1992, throughout the 90s. During that period, the city was in steep decline. It was push factors out of fear and pull factors in that the Santon Council offered lower rates than the Johannesburg City Council. So a lot of business left the inner city. What happened in this time was that um, many owners believing maybe that their buildings were no longer of any value simply walked away from them. Many residents who occupy the dilapidated and decaying buildings in the Johannesburg CBD live in fear that they could be evicted at any moment and be destitute on the streets. 
Vanya van der Jeffer for Morning Live in Johannesburg.